right, so I'm back in Chandigarh in the Punjab region of India um, and I'm taking another flight today with another Indian low-cost airline. And now is it bad that every time I go through an Indian airport security point I'm just thinking that's one less Indian security point that I've got to do before I get home. <laughs> and that's another one ticked off. Chandigarh, there wasn't too bad here at Chandigarh. Um, quite quiet and they weren't too nice, weren't too bad, they were quite nice and friendly. I'm gonna go and try and get some food. Well, they haven't really got that much in the way of food selection here at um, Chandrigarh, so I'm thinking I might head to the lounge actually and see if I can use my priority pass and get in the lounge. Let's go and see. like it's fast food after all. <laughs> Let's go see what we can get. So I'm flying with an airline um, today called Go First Air who are, like I mentioned earlier, an Indian, go, uh, an Indian low cost airline. Um, one of the three main ones they've got here alongside Spicejet and Indigo. Um, and yeah, they basically fly 320s the length of India, low cost airline connecting all the major cities really and um, we're in one of them today up at Chandigarh and we're heading down to Delhi but to get to Delhi for some reason the flight goes the other way first and has a stopover somewhere in the north of India so um, we'll uh, see how that goes that'll be a fun experience won't it um, but yeah flying would go first and I got me um, chicken burger and me chili fries Plane's just landed, so um, hopefully we'll be getting on our way very soon. Hello. Only boarding pass required. You can keep the ID. Okay, inside. thank you. Thank you. Have a thank nice you. flight. So here we go then, off to Delhi via Srinagar on the Go First A320 Neo. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. All good, sir. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. So, are you a blogger? Yes. Um, All right, so on board. Very nice. Very, very classy, actually. Um, leg room isn't too bad at all. That's okay, isn't it? For a low cost airline, that's pretty decent. Um, safety guard and stuff in there and all the usual stuff but yeah looking forward to this so our flight first leg today takes us up to Kashmir um, to a place called Srinagar and then I think we stop and refuel or something there and then we carry on turn around and come back south past Chandigarh back to Delhi so that's tonight's routing um, I'm gonna get comfortable get settled in and um, yeah I'm looking forward to the flight My first flight today then took me from Chandigarh to the city of Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. Flight time on this leg was 56 minutes, cruising at 30,000 feet. Oh, I am getting a little bit concerned, I have to say, because everything that I'm seeing and hearing is telling me this plane is going to Srinagar and nobody seems to be going to Delhi. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned as to what's going on. They keep talking about welcoming up all this flight to Srinagar. Nobody's at all mentioned anything about it continuing on to Delhi. So I'm a bit sort of not entirely sure what's going on. My boarding pass says Delhi on it. Um, so I don't know whether I have to get off the plane when we get to Srinagar or whether I can stay on because I'm going all the way through. I don't know 
Um, we'll, I guess we'll find out when we get up there. Um, but yeah, beautiful sunny evening um, here in northern India anyway. Um, heading north um, for about an hour before we then head south again to fly right back through here um, for some reason, but never mind. So go first promise is that you come first. It's their slogan after all. Um, and I'm not entirely sure whether you come first is a promise or whether it's an extra service that they offer. I don't know, they are a low cost airline. I don't know whether that's an additional thing that um, you can buy. Um, not entirely sure, but um, yeah. So go first air have a buy on board service and I'd basically pre-ordered my food when I booked my flight. I can't remember what I'd ordered or anything. I just sort of ticked what looked nice when I ordered it when I booked the flight. There's not enough room here for all my bits. Oh, it's not like flipping flatbed seats this, is it? Right. Um, so let's open my You Come First box. Oh, I wonder what's in my You Come First box. Okay. It's like a samosas. Oh, it's veggie samosas as well. They look quite nice. I'll try one of them while I'm waiting for me. Got the thing to sort of finish preparing for eight minutes. That's actually really nice. It's like a Greg's in the sky in over India. It's nice. I miss Greg's. Alright, time to try me Idli Sambal. I do remember Googling this. I can't remember what it is with the live for me, but I do remember Googling it when I ordered it. I think, oh, that looks reasonable. I might, might like to try that. Clearly, I've completely forgotten. You're not entirely sure what it's going to taste like. Sweet, savoury, spicy. Let's try one. It's like bits of bread that have just been dropped in water. It's pretty much it. Soggy bread. Yeah. I mean, the soggy bread goes, it's all right. I definitely prefer my samosa though. So it started our descent down into Srinagar. Wow, the scenery is just absolutely incredible. Out the window as we cross into um, Kashmir in the north of India here. I mean, look at that, stunning scenery. The Himalayan plateau. Um, as we start making our way down, this is gonna be a beautiful approach. I'm just gonna feel it now. Um, the captain's just come on, by the way, and said that we're gonna be about 10 minutes early, despite leaving half an hour late, because we've had a bit of a tailwind, so that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, so we've had the best of both worlds. We've had a bit of a tailwind we're getting in 10 minutes early and we got this beautiful that means of course it's still daylight when we get to see this beautiful scenery out the window so uh, incredible Passengers heading to New Delhi, i.e. me, um, if ever we've got to stay on board the plane, which is great, means I don't have to get off. It was a very heavily militarised airport, actually, um, which is probably expected considering its location right up here in um, Jammu and Kashmir, the bit of the north of near close to the border with Pakistan obviously up in the top so um, yeah it is um, a bit of a fought after bit of land this that we're on at the minute so um, yeah we've got about half an hour I think here um, in Jammu and Kashmir and then we can get back in the sky and head south to Delhi 
Now there's nothing like a nice brew to get your morning started just right and it's thanks to this week's video sponsor that my mornings are just well that little bit better. Now a few months ago my morning routine used to consist of me waking up picking up this thing and sitting scrolling endlessly through social media all morning while I tried to get up to date on what was going on in the world. But then came along morning brew and it's changed things completely for me. It's a completely free email newsletter that you get delivered straight to your inbox every morning and it condenses all the top news from the world of business finance and tech into one easy to read five minute email every single day now even today i learned about an airline over in the states that are using elon musk's starlink stuff you know the wi-fi stuff they've got the little satellites up in space and they're using it to provide wi-fi to passengers on planes over the pacific ocean that's so cool isn't it now morning brew is completely free of charge all you have to do is click that link less than 15 seconds later you're all signed up and getting it to your inbox every single morning there's literally no reason why you wouldn't sign up sign up to morning brew completely free of charge at morningbrewdaily.com slash noel phillips or just click the link down in the description and um, just like me you could make your mornings that little bit better oh it's good coffee nice mug as well you see my boarding pass did you say All right, thank you. <laughs> I'll tag you on Instagram. Ah, thank you. Please repost that. <laughs> so thank you so much. Oh, you're more than really welcome. It's nice to be on board. Ah, sorry, sir. It's nice to be here on board. Oh, so, thank um, you so yes. much. <laughs> do you like our hospitality? I do. Yes, I do, do actually. Like I, I didn't. I, I didn't know what to expect. This is the first time My you're first, playing with Yes, it is. Yes. How was the um, experience? It's really good. Um, I was expecting kind of ultra low cost, like no frills spirit, and oh, okay. it's um, it's just really good. It's really not, so it's thank really you so good. Much. I flew Spice Jet the other I day. Um, the 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 uh, yes. Oh, yes. thank you. Hi right. guys, please follow my channel. Um, What's your channel name? Saika Chaudhary. Saika Chaudhary. Yes, I'm an Indian blogger. Indian blogger. So I'll put a link on the screen to that. So, yeah, sure, um, sure. Yeah, sure. lovely. Thank you. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Thank you. Namaste from India. The service that they've been given so far has just been amazing. Um, certainly level above some of the other airlines I've flown on here I mean I'm looking at you SpiceJet um, when I talk about no frills no service no nothing um, and they seem to pull out all the stops it's time for the Noel Phillips Blue Review oh, uh, Blue Review on the Go First A320 this is the Crew Loo Loo Review a special Loo Review this is Crew Loo Loo Review um, and it's um, all right. It's an A320 bathroom. Um, well, everything's for crew only, clearly, with it being a crew loo review, loo crew. But um, yes, it's all right. That was the Noel Phillips Loo Review. Shrinigatia. <laughs> must be a Shrinigat thing, I don't know. Everyone's <laughs> really loud and so sort of shouty, but that's okay. It livens things up a bit, doesn't it? The next leg today then took me south from Srinagar back to Delhi. Flight time on this leg, one hour and seven minutes, cruising at 37,000 feet. Well, there we go then, eventually airborne from Srinagar heading down to Delhi. Um, you know, sometimes I wish I could just be a fly on the wall on the flight deck and figure out what was going on there. Um, that was so weird, we sort of went to do a rolling takeoff um, on runway 13 back there and then sort of slapped on after a couple of seconds and um, aborted the takeoff and then sat there for ages before we did a short field takeoff presumably because they'd used like a load of runway up at this point or 
a little bit of runway up um, and how to do a short field takeoff um, from there. So um, interesting. Like to thank you again for choosing Go First for your flight today. Looking forward to fly with you soon again. Alright, we started our descent then down into Delhi. Um, seems to have flown by quite quickly this flight actually, so um, hopefully be on the ground very soon. We are quite early I think at the minute, so we'll see if, I, if we keep that up um, on the way in anyway. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, live Zoom calls with me and much, much more. I don't think I've ever been through Terminal 2 at Delhi before. Usually Terminal 3, isn't it? But um, um, Go First Air obviously use Terminal 2. It's not too bad, quite small and compact, that's quite nice. Hey, well there I am, back in my room, uh, back at the hotel in Delhi, um, after, oh, quite a nice flight with Go First Air. I quite enjoyed that actually. Um, quite a nice airline actually, to be honest. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting completely no frills, spirit airlines type hospitality and in the end got quite a nice little airline. Um, so very, very, very pleased with them actually, to be honest. Um, so that's all the low cost airlines that I've done here in India now, Indigo, um, Go First Airways and of course, ooh, Spicejet. Um, and I think, to be honest, Go First and Indigo are probably on a par as kind of the top two. Spicejet, you avoid, as you saw in my previous video, but don't forget to watch that video. If you haven't seen it already, I'll pop a link on the screen now. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go and try and get some sleep. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.